Hi, welcome to Yoga with Liza. Tonight is a kids practice and we're talking about how we can make ourselves happy. Hi, I see somebody signing on. I'm going to wait um, just a couple minutes. I've been bringing uh, the page up early so that people can find me. I've heard that um, a couple people had a hard time finding me live. So I'm just going to check in. Let me see who's here. Hi, David. Good to see you. Um, tonight is A fun practice the first 10 minutes I dedicate to my grandchildren and then from there um, we move into an adult practice so waiting for the kids to sign on class officially starts at 730 and Ethel, good to see you. Nina, good to see you. Waiting for the kids to sign on tonight. And we're going to do a fun piece for them. So with deciding that we can be happy if we choose, even um, when things are tough. So I put my happy sign up on the wall um, in contrast with my love sign. So if we keep ourselves centered in love, we can also decide and make a decision to be happy and productive. And I've also been teaching through the yamas, which are um, practice disciplines out of the sutras of pranayama. And so the practice and discipline of brahmacharya is one of the central yamas or recommended practices delineated in Pranayana Sutras. The Yoga Sutras offer yoga practitioner a very detailed scientific approach of finding enlightenment, happiness, right? Bliss, contentment. And so many people describe this Yama as one of abstinence or we can look at it as a way of conserving our energies and directing our energies towards positive things in life and productive things. So I wrote an excerpt out of the article in the comments section there um, when you sign on. The article that I'm quoting is the practice of Brahmarichi um, in your yoga class and managing your energy. So the biggest thing on the mat is honoring ourselves. And you've all heard me talk about this before, honoring ourselves and staying at the level of practice that is right for us. And so if you know a deeper version of a pose that I'm doing and you decide that you want to go ahead and do that, please, by all means, feel free to do so. If you're nurturing knees, hips, shoulders, um, any body part, modify the practice so that that body part can be honored in a neutral, um, loving way. I'm just going to turn on one more light here to help with um, all of those things. Evelyn and Chris, good to see you. And so I know the kids are signing on, and if they're not signing on right away, I know that they have been signing on and watching at other points in time. 
So tonight we're going to do, since we can decide to be happy for our kids part of the program, we're going to do your happy and you know it, clap your hands. And adults, if you want to chime in with me, please. I know why it can do it. I know you can all do that. different languages saying hello to each other and so isn't that what yoga teaches us we're all the same the light within and we're all the same and so we can decide we can choose to be happy so the kids get just a couple more minutes I think here yes so we're gonna do a couple more minutes of kids and inhale bring the arms all the way up and over Bend our knees, come into our chair, bring our hands to our knees, inhale, exhale, feel our standing cat-cow, standing cat-cow, breathing into it, inhale, bring it all the way up. So let's review part of what we did last night, so we did happy and you know it, clap your hands tonight. Inhale, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, all the way up, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, bring it all the way up, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, one more time, bring it all the way up, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, Inhale all the way up, bring our arms together, bring our feet gently wide, and let's just swing our arms from side to side, feel our standing elephant pose, our hands together is our trunk, and if you can make an elephant noise, I want to hear it because I'm not quite sure how to do that. 
It's, it's quite an interesting noise. Now coming back to center, bend the knees, inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead, bring the hands all the way out and around. And grandma's gonna get rid of her jacket because it's time to do some real work. I know my grandsons chop wood. And so, or they help their daddies chop wood. And so we're gonna do the woodsman. And maybe some of you grown-ups want to join along with me. And I'm going to do this sideways so our feet come about hip width apart. Our knees come soft. And so we're bending at our knees as we come down. And we're going to bring our arms up overhead. And as we bring our arms down and chop, we're going to go, ha, real loud. Ready? Let's do 10. Inhale up. Exhale, ha, 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 last one, ha, inhale up, ready, now we're going to bring our hands back to our heart center, Great big ohm. Come on, Wyatt. I know you can do this. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Namaste. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, we have some more time here, kids. So we did the woodsman. We did head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And we clapped our hands because we were happy and we know it. So let's come into our tree, shift our weight to the left foot, and pick up our knee, bring it to the side, bring the knee back in, bring our hands in, and gently this may be our tree, maybe our foot's in the mat, maybe we grow our breathing into it. Step wide, feel our star pose, look up to the ceiling, breathing. Exhale, bring the hands back together. Step, walk, jump, bring the feet together. Shift the weight to the right foot, pick up the left foot. Gently bring that left foot in, maybe opening, bringing our hands wide, breathing into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, step wide, feel our star pose. We're gonna shine bright. As the sun goes down, the stars come out tonight. Exhale, bring our hands down to the mat. Wide leg forward fold. I know you can do this, Ricky. Pick up your right hand or your left hand, doesn't matter. Bring that right hand down. Pick the left hand up. Bring the left hand down. Now gently walk our hands out. Bring our knees to the mat. Bring our toes together. Come down wide like child's pose. Breathing into it. Inhale. Walk our hands back towards our knees. Take our hands, bring them back around. Ready? Let's do our lion's breath roar. <sighs> and one more time, lion's breath roar. <sighs> and one more time, lion's breath roar. <sighs> Inhale, coming back to center, bringing that knee back and around, bringing ourselves up and coming into our boat pose. Ready? One more song. Sing with me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat. You start. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Bring our knees in, give ourselves a hug. Great big audible sigh. <sighs> Bring the feet back up. Maybe we grab our toes and come into candlestick. And it's okay if you rock and roll, just bring yourself back up. From candlestick, come into our chest. Filling our cup up with love, peace, happiness, joy, all that's good in life. Bringing the feet back in together, coming into our cobbler, our butterfly. Bringing the feet out to the side and in the kid's part, I move a little bit quicker, pick up the tailbone, come on back down, bring the arms out because one, three, and five is where butterfly flies away. And even 14 can move a lot quicker than grandma can. So and we'll just rest to say grandma's well over 50. Bringing our knees back in, give ourselves a hug, squeeze, Exhale, coming down into easy cross leg, coming into our adult part of the class. And again, sharing that we're working tonight again on one of the yamas, which is B-R-A-H-M-A-C-H-A-R-Y-A, Brahmachara. And I'm using an article from the Aurora Wellness site um, that was written by Virginia Version, and I put that information on the comments there. There's a really great YouTube video in the middle of the article that really helps explain what this yama is about. So strictly um, translated, it's, it's about abstinence. Um, however, taking it a step further, it's about how we spend our energy and how we conserve our energy. So I wrote part of the article on there and I'm gonna read you one little excerpt as you gently bring your hands to heart center and start coming into the breath as you come into your practice. And for many of us who practice yoga on a regular basis, we do so because we feel physically and emotionally better when we do. In a word, world that is filled with continually fluctuating experiences of great joy and deep sorrow, this sense of well-being is well worth the effort. Even if we don't live in a state of Nirvascapula Samadhi at all times, which is basically the top of the eight limbs. In fact, many yogi practitioners choose to become yoga instructors so that they can share the joy and well-being generated by the practice with others. And I can say that I'm one who falls into that category. And so this article was written some time ago. Um, I printed it off today. I don't think it was written today. Um, copyright 2019. So it was at least written um, four or five months ago. I am not seeing the full copyright, but that's okay. And so I'm honoring that copyright and sharing with you where this came from. So in our practice today, this is what I call an all levels practice. And so I always give choices in the pose, whether it's a gentle practice or an advanced practice. 
And so this practice is going to be mediocre. And not mediocre, but midline is a better way of saying it. And so if you are somebody who wants to be gentle on your body, then stay in the gentle version. If you're somebody who likes to rock and roll and dance and power yoga, I will give you opportunities to put in extra sun salutations. That being said, taking a great big inhale in, audible sigh out. Maybe you joined me in the OM with the kids. Let's do a gentle OM, great big inhale. Um. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Gently crossing our fingers over each other and bringing the palms out. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring the right arm down and the left arm over. Inhale back through center, left arm down, right arm over. And please, we're doing both sides. So whichever side you do first is okay. We're gonna do the other side. Take these hands, bring them back behind. Gentle yoga mudra, look up to the ceiling. Open and close the mouth. Close the mouth and swallow. Bring the chin back to chest. Bring the chin to center. Now, before we move the head, bring the hands back in front, open the eyes. Take the eyes all the way to the left. Now bring the eyes all the way back through center to the right. Bring the eyes to center, look up to the ceiling. Bring the eyes down to the earth. Now bring them to the left or the right. Bring them back up, back down to the earth. To the right, up, left, earth. So we're making gentle circles, looking in all four directions. Now come back to center, look down to the left, up, right, down, left, up, right. And we're making circles with our eyes. And then close our eyes, rub our hands together. And we're not touching our face right now, so we're gently just gonna put our hands in front of our faces. So even at home, if we don't touch our face, my grandfather used to tell me, don't, don't touch your face, you'll get a pimple taught me not to touch my face. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Bring the legs straight out in front. Gently windshield wiper the toes from side to side, side to side. Breath. Bring that right knee in and gently give ourselves a hug. Now, we're going to twist a couple times. So bring that left arm around the knee and look back over the shoulder. Breathing into it. Now coming back to center. Bring that right leg out. Bring the left leg in. Gently wrap it around, looking back over the left shoulder. Bring those right toes straight up as we look back over the shoulder. Breathing into it. Boom. 
gently coming back to center. Bring the left leg out. Let the feet windshield wiper back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now gently bring the right knee in. Cross the right leg over. Gently bring that right arm back and over. Now, using judgment, conserving our energy, maybe that foot holds on the inside. Maybe you come all the way over as we come into the twist. Five, two, one. Come on back to center. Bring that right foot up. That's right, Ricky. Grandma doesn't know how to count. You do it better. Gently windshield wiper the feet from side to side. It's Thursday night, eight o'clock, crunch. Inhale, bring that left foot in, cross that left foot over. I have some of my crunch people here with me tonight. Bring that left hand back behind, breathing into it. Five, four, Three, two, one. Come on back to center. Bring that left leg out. Gently bring the knees as wide as the mat, bending the knees again. Gently let the knees go one way, looking the other way. Bring the knees back in. Gently bring the knees over and come on back to center. So this time in our twist, and maybe you're even sitting right here and twisting with your leg out in front. Maybe we're gonna bring this right leg in, cross it over. I'm diffusing my tea tree lemon tonight. Makes the whole room smell like lemony fresh. Gently come into the twist, looking back over my shoulder, breathing into it. Bringing ourselves back to center. Uncross the legs one more time. Bring the knees in, let them drop one way. Bring them back to center, let them drop over the other way. You don't have essential oils, you don't have a diffuser, no problem. Bring the right leg out, the left leg over. Maybe you tuck that right leg back behind as we hug the left leg. Maybe your legs are still straight out in front and you're gently twisting to one side. Eat an orange or a slice of lemon, put the, the rind of a lemon, lime or orange, and a pot of water on the stove with a few clove buds and a cinnamon stick and let it boil and diffuse that into the air. It smells so good and it's a nice way to clean the air, coming back to center. Now maybe you can tuck your foot behind and roll over and come into tabletop. Maybe you untwine your feet very gently, planting the hands, <clears throat> bringing the knees wide, and gently come back into a wide like child's pose. Now, maybe our knees are tender, so hold in tabletop or stay seated and maybe do some cat-cows in a seated position on the chair, honoring yourself in your practice.
inhaling to tabletop. Play up the toes. Gently push ourselves up into downward dog. And maybe you're standing and pumping your feet up and down or pumping your heels up and down in the chair instead of being in downward dog and walking your dog. So we're honoring ourselves in our practice and directing our energy to what gives us joy and feels good in the movement. Coming back to center. Now, maybe you pick up the right hand and the left leg. Maybe you bring yourself back into tabletop and pick up the right hand and the left leg. Bring the right hand and the left leg down. Maybe you hold in tabletop. Maybe you're standing and gently pick up the right leg and the left arm over your head. And then come back into downward dog or standing position. Step, walk, Bring ourselves to the front of the mat, halfway with a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Gentle back bend. Breath. Exhale, bring our hands back through heart center, all the way down to the mat. Tadasana, mountain pose. So option as a stand it out, sun salutation. Pump the heels, walk, turn your head from side to side. Or if you were with me last night in class, you can do this sitting in a chair. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit here so that you can see me standing. Sorry about that. Um, all right, better. Now you can see my full body. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, low lunge. Plant the right hand, pick the left arm up. Bring the left arm to the inside tonight and pick the right arm up. Bring the right arm down, step back, high plank. Maybe you come straight into downward dog. Come down on your knees. Maybe you hold in tabletop and go back into the pose of a child. Maybe you come down, knees, chest, and chin. Baby cobra. Plant the hands, plant the toes. Inhale. Bring it all the way up, downward dog. Inhale, pick that right foot up. Maybe you bend the knee. Maybe the knees, hips stay level. Bring that right foot forward. Knee is over the ankle. Low lunge. Plant the left hand. Pick the right arm up. Bring the right arm to the inside. Pick the left arm up. Bring the left arm down. Pick up that back foot. Bring it forward. Flat back. Fold. Inhale all the way up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Other side. Inhale, bring the arms up. 
exhale fold inhale flat back exhale left foot back low lunge plant the left hand pick the right arm up bring the right arm to the inside tonight and pick the left arm up all different versions of sun salutations left arm down step back high plank knees chest and chin or chaturanga inhale bring it up plant the toes come on back over downward dog five deep breaths Pick that left leg straight back. Maybe you bend the knee down dog scorpion. Bring the left leg forward. Plant the right hand. Pick the left arm up. Bring the left arm to the inside. Pick the right arm up. Keep that back leg engaged. Bring the right arm down. Inhale, step forward flat back, fold, inhale, bring it all the way up, hands come through heart center, Tadasana, alright, so we're going to back it off and make it even gentler, we're going to do a gentler version, so we're going to inhale, all the way up exhale come down inhale flat back exhale step back with the right foot step back with the left foot now come into tabletop bring our forearms to the mat come back dolphin plank and we're going to hold this eh, five, four, three, two, one. Out of practice, guys. I'm going to have to build back up to that minute. Come on down. Bring the hips down to the mat. Gently let the toes go from side to side. Bring that foot down. Feel our sphinx pose. In our Sphinx pose, ready, lion's breath, roar. <sighs> Release, come all the way down to the mat. Release our hands down, left cheek to the mat. Inhale, pick the left cheek up. Bring the right cheek to the mat. inhale back up bring our hands next to our side plant our toes come into tabletop and this may be your edge maybe you push all the way up into downward dog so from tabletop or downward dog this time we're going to pick the right foot up and bring it forward and then bring the left foot forward flat back exhale fold inhale bring it all the way up hands come through heart center to dasana one more gentle version left foot back first inhale up 
exhale fold inhale flat back exhale left foot back right foot back high plank maybe you come chaturanga and hold it maybe you come down on your forearms and feel dolphin plank five four this is fun come on down onto the mat one more time feel our sphinx pose sphinx pose roar <sighs> exhale come all the way down on the mat this time bend our knees let our feet windshield wiper from side to side Releasing out the breath. Bring the feet back to the mat. Bring the hands back. Plant the toes. Come all the way up. Breath, fingers wide. Plant the toes. Inhale up. Downward dog. Maybe you're holding in your tabletop as you breathe into it Inhale, pick that left foot up, whether you're in tabletop or downward dog. Step forward with the left foot. Step forward with the right foot. Flat back. Fold. Inhale all the way up, gentle back bend. Hands come through heart center. Tadasana. Bring our hands up overhead, come into our chair, Ukatasana. Bring the left elbow to the right and gently open. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe you shift your weight to the right foot and you can pick up that left foot. Maybe you just pick up the heel and the toe is still in the mat. Honor your energy. Maybe that foot goes straight back and we're in evolved half moon. Bring that foot back to the mat. Bring the hands in. Inhale. Bring it all the way up. Shoulders soft. Bring it all the way back and around. Okay, here we go on the other side. Ready? Bringing the hands up. Coming to chair. Bringing the hands into heart center. Right elbow to the left. Maybe we open. Maybe our hands are holding in prayer. Shift the weight to the left foot. Pick up the right heel. Maybe the right foot. Maybe that right foot comes straight back and we're an evolved half moon. And maybe you're using a block here. Bring that foot back down. Bring our hands back to heart center. Bring it as low as you go. Maybe you're coming into squat. Breath. Bring the hands back in. Inhale. Bring it all the way up and around. And maybe you were holding in chair. Now, gently shift the weight to the left foot. Bring the arms out in a T. Bring the right foot out. Breathing into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that right foot back to center. Hands come in. Arms come out. 
left foot, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that left foot back in. Sun salutation. Your version, maybe you stand here and walk the dog. Maybe you come through a full size. Maybe you're doing the modification. Flat back, come on back, high plank. Chaturanga, knees, chest and chin. Upward dog, come on back over. Downward dog. Five deep breaths, maybe you're in tabletop. up on the tippy toes, bend the knees, step, walk, jump, come to the front of the mat, flat back, fold, inhale all the way up, hands come through heart center, Tadasana, eeny meeny miny mo, right foot back, left foot forward, one of my oldest sequences, Coming into triangle, reach forward, come up, feel our triangle, breathing into it, breaths. Inhale, bring it all the way back up, bring the arms out in a T like an airplane, and maybe that back foot comes around just a little bit. Maybe the hands come back behind Yoga Mudra. Maybe you keep the arms out in airplane arms. Keep that front knee soft but straight. Our joints are always soft and mobile in yoga. Maybe you bring the hands down to either side. Maybe you have the block on either side. Gently feeling this stretch, feel the hips open. Breathing into our standing pyramid. Bring our hands together, squeeze them tight. Inhale, we're going to come all the way back up. Bring that right arm in front and the left arm behind. That front knee is soft. And this may be right where you hold for your reverse triangle. Maybe you bring the block down and you bring your hand to the block. Maybe as you hinge forward, that hand crosses over into your Parsvarita Trikonasana, reverse triangle. I like to call it evolved because in this sequence we're evolving around in the circle. Bringing that hand down, inhale, bring it all the way up, feel the feet wide pausing in our star pose. Bring our hands to our hips, make our knees soft, gentle from side to side. Gentle stretch, turning our head, looking from side to side, feeling the breath. Now gently coming back to center, Bring the opposite toes to the skinny part of the mat. Reach back behind, hinge forward. Feel our triangle, Trikonasana. Remember to keep that hip open. So not important to touch the ground. Important to keep that side body and hip open. Breathing into it.
bringing that left hand down, squeeze the palms together, inhale up, bring our arms out in a T, and maybe we step that back foot around, squaring off our hips with the skinny part of the mat. Hands can be back behind, maybe they come down to the earth, breathing into it. Releasing the hands down to the mat, squeezing the palms together. Inhale, bring ourselves all the way back up. Bringing that left arm in front, the right arm behind. Right knee is soft. This may be right where we hold. Maybe we hinge forward and the block comes to the inside or the outside of that front leg. Breathing into it, feeling the breath. Bringing that right hand back down to the mat, squeeze the palm together, inhale, bring it up, bring the heels together, come into our goddess, heels come in, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, bring it up, exhale, bring it down. And maybe you choose to hold steady for another 10 breaths versus the flow of the goddess flow. Breathing into it. Elbows come down. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale hold. Bring the right arm over, bring it back. Left arm over, bring it back. Gently to the side, to the side. Right arm over, left arm over. Left arm to the side, right arm to the side. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Bring the hands all the way back behind. Bring the toes back to center, looking up to the ceiling. Now, keeping the hands in Yoga Mudra, if the shoulders allow, as we gently hinge forward and come in wide leg forward fold, maybe our shoulders say, forget this and bring our hands straight down to the mat, breathing into it. Gently release the hands down, come halfway up, bringing our knees maybe down to the mat with the big toe side out. Gentle. 
bringing ourselves down. So the big toes, gentle option is to bring the toes in and come back into wide leg child's pose or tabletop. Always an option to modify. So this is a version of frog. Breaths. Now from our frog, bring our toes back in and let's all come back into wide leg child's pose. Breathing into it. And maybe, like we did the other night, you can bring the blocks and put your forearms on the blocks and allow the chest to come to the mat. Maybe the blocks don't feel so good and we simply bring ourselves down to the mat as close as we go. Now, gently walk our hands back up and bring our knees back in together. And maybe we're sitting on the blocks as we gently feel our kneeling hero's pose and just hold here. Bring the hands to either side. Bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Gently look down at the knee. Inhale back through center. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And gently look down at the knee. And inhale back up. And now we're going to do a little exercise. I've seen two other instructors do this. I've seen Sam do this and I've seen Dorothy O do this. Um, and I originally learned it um, quite some time ago. So what we're going to do is come into tabletop and we're going to be a little bit playful. And one of these nights, I'm going to do this again with the kids, too. And we're going to take the right knee behind the left. And then we're going to uncross the left knee and bring it behind the right. And then we're going to uncross the right knee and bring it behind the left. So we're walking backwards. And then we're going to bring the pinky toe side of the feet to the mat. And this is mermaid. So you can see your tail out back behind you. This is mermaid pose. Now from mermaid pose, maybe we walk ourselves back over. Maybe you're sitting on a block. Um, maybe you're sitting in a chair and gently crossing your legs to come into cow face pose. Gently bring that right arm up and over. Take that left arm back behind and I'm coming into cow face. Maybe you use your scarf or your strap if your fingers don't quite connect so that you're making this connection and our heart space is open and we're breathing into it. And then we're gently going to fold forward, breathing into it, feel the breath. Inhale, gently coming up, uncrossing the arms, and honoring ourselves. Remembering you can uncross your legs and gently come into tabletop. 
and maybe bringing the hands over top. Now bring that right knee around in front and we're walking forward and bring that left knee around in front. And then one more time, bring that right knee around in front. Gently bring ourselves back. And again, maybe we sit on a block. Maybe you bring that leg straight out in front so you're in half cow face. And we're gonna bring the left arm up and the right arm back behind and gently feel this heart bench opener as we breathe into it. forward fold. Inhale, bring it back up. Release the strap. This time, release our legs out in front. Gently let the legs windshield wiper from side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Now, coming back to center, Bend the knees, scooch our sit bones to the knees, and gently roll back one vertebrae at a time. Now, tonight we're going to do a gentle flow. Inhale, come up into bridge. Exhale, come down. Inhale, bring the legs up. Exhale, bring the arms out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down, bring the legs together. Bring the knees down to the mat. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, bring the feet up. Exhale, wide. Inhale, pick the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Exhale, bring it back down, bring the feet together, bring the feet down to the mat. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, pick the feet up. Exhale, bring it wide. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, come down. Bring the feet together. Bend the knees. Pick it up in the middle and breathe into it. Exhale, down. Inhale, bring the feet up. Exhale, wide. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, come down. Bring the knees together. Bend the knees. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, bring the feet up. Exhale, wide. Inhale, up. Exhale, come down, bring the feet together, bend the knees, bring them back to the mat. Great big audible sigh. <sighs> Gently inhale, bring the right foot up. 
cross it onto the left thigh and maybe we gently push that right thigh open and this is our edge right here honor that edge maybe we bring our hands through center and come into our incumbent pigeon maybe you can bring that foot to the crook of your arm and bring the leg down this is where i hold on my right side the left side i go deeper i honor that breath bringing the sole of the left foot to the mat bring the right arm out bring that right foot over gently feel this stretch opening the IT band, the psoas, breathing into it. Gently bringing ourselves back to center, bringing the right foot to the mat, bring the left foot up, cross the left ankle to the right thigh, coming into our incumbent pigeon, breathing into it, bringing that left foot to the crook of the right arm, and gently breathing five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that left foot back to the right side. Bring both feet over to the right. Bring that left arm out in a T. Gently feel the stretch breath breathing into it bringing ourselves back onto our backs bringing our hands to our knees Gently open the hips one way. Bringing the hands back together, bring the hips around the other way. And then bring the toes up to the ceiling and gently feel our happy infant. Maybe our hands come to the back of our thighs as we bring our knees towards our armpits. Our feet are wide feeling this breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Bringing our feet straight up in the air. Option, if you have a block or a book with a blanket over it that you're using as a block, maybe you bring that block under your hip bones and you want it on your hip bones. Do not, you want to only feel this on the hip bones across. If you feel it in your spine, it's up too high, lower it just a little bit. And then maybe pick one foot up and see how this feels. Maybe you bring the other foot up and see how this feels. When you have both feet up with the block underneath, this is waterfall. So this is a little bit more intense than legs up the wall. It's a little bit gentler than shoulder stand. And I'm actually going to bring myself back out of this and bring my spine back to the mat and gently hold in my legs up the wall. But there are some people who really like that waterfall, that in-between pose. If you're coming all the way into your legs up the wall tonight and you know where you're going, feel free to go there. 
I'm holding in the gentler version of the pose. 15 minutes of legs up the wall is supposed to help calming for a gentle night's sleep. And so a couple more breaths here. And then we're going to bring our knees into our chest and gently bring our feet all the way out on the mat, bringing our palms up. Great big audible sigh. And maybe you cover with a blanket or a jacket or whatever works for you. Maybe you're warm enough where you are. And I'm gently just coming up to um, have you again feel every muscle melt into the mat and i'm gently going to bring you down through the hair the eyes the ears the nose the mouth the, the throat across the shoulders the cervical spine all the way down the arms into the fingertips melting into the earth thoracic spine, our chest, lumbar spine, our abdomen, sacral spine and our hips coming into our thigh bones all the way down through the knees, the shins, the ankles, our feet and our toes, gently being at peace. And I found this in my yoga book today and from some time ago. It was back when we had emails before we had Facebook. And it says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Gently beaming out some Reiki as you're in Savasana. Again, you can ask for the Reiki to come to you. You can ask for the Reiki to go to somebody else and pass you by. Breathing into it. Taking a great big inhale in. Gently becoming aware of the breaths. Bringing the head from left to right and from right to left. Coming back to center, wiggling our fingers and toes, stretching our arms up overhead, feeling that stretch from our fingers to our toes. 
bringing our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a hug. Gently coming over onto the right side, pausing and thanking ourselves. Gently pushing ourselves up one vertebrae at a time, bringing ourselves into easy cross leg, and gently bring the left hand in as we bring the right hand out. Mudra for releasing fear, allowing room for peace and happiness that which no longer serves us. Bringing the pointer finger under the thumb and the ring and the middle finger together for the heart mudra. Breathing into it. bringing our hands to heart center. May the light within me salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are all the same. Namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. I will be back tomorrow night at 7.30. I'm going to thank everyone who's on the roll. As, I, as has become my custom, thank you, Nina, Dave, Ethel, Dorothy, Evelyn, Scott, Donald, Michelle, Linda, glad you found me. Cindy, I'm glad you're here tonight. Jennifer, good to see you. Donna, good to see you. Carolyn, good to see you. Ricky, I'm glad you're here tonight. Veronica, good to see you. Dave, good to see you. Debbie Lou. Jeff, good to see you. Susan Lynn, good to see you. Audrey, good to see you. Stephen, Anne, Patricia. Diane, good to see you. Cheryl, good to see you. Carol, Laura, Marsh, good to see you. And anyone who comes in after this, thank you for being with me. Thank you to the health care workers, the first responders, and let's not forget the trash men and the food store people and the truck drivers and the mailman. The mailman comes through everything. Thank goodness for all of those people who are out there, and may my practice support you. All right, good night for now. I'll see you tomorrow night.